to the channel we are headed to petite leon which is a mexican cuisine from what google says restaurant and we're about to take advantage of some of their food items that they have on their menu tonight um i have been to petite leon before and all i can remember is i was highly satisfied the food was delicious customer service was amazing drinks were well prepared and balanced um so yeah we're going back and i'm taking you guys with me so i will see y'all there up y'all so i am back from dinner and when i tell you it was delicious it was delicious so i have not had this the lamb tartare from them but baby when i tell you it was so well balanced it was like they had mint and um some type of honestly it kind of reminded me of some like tzatziki sauce that went with it but the lamb was lightly salted seasoned very well very tender oh and the mint was such a good additive to it it was very refreshing but just well balanced and then the chickpeas gave a really light airy crunch to it 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 the peppers are always delicious the sauce i mean the the cream filling that they put the cheese filling that they put in the peppers And they're not spicy. The peppers are not spicy. Very delicious. My only thing is, is I would like them to be a little warmer. So I'll probably rate them like a 9 out of 10. Because just of the temperature. Other than that, flavor profile, texture, the way that it was cooked, the blister on the peppers, done very well. What else? Oysters. They were the sweet petite oysters, <clears throat> which are one of my favorites. Um very sweet light very light lightly salted brine um i love to dress mines with lemon as well as um, mignette sauce they did have a hot sauce but i didn't do that on mine so i just did lemon and the mignette mm, 10 out of 10 and then i had the steak fritz cooked medium and they gave me i can't remember the sauce that they gave me for the steak but it was really good the steak was not seasoned it was cooked to perfection very tender um the sea salt on top gave it a nice taste because there really was no no flavor to the steak but it was cooked very well the sauce was definitely needed and i am a saucy person anyway so it was really good fries delicious as well crispy were not soggy soggy and then they did give you another sauce which was like a excuse me which was like a um a real bougie well put together like um ranch dip like the ranch dip you use for like the rippled lays or rippled chips or whatever like that ranch dip but it wasn't as thick and heavy it was really light and creamy but flavored very well um, like, a, like, a, again, like I said, it was just like a really bougie, um, ranch dip. Really, really good. And so I, when I looked on Google, it said it was a Mexican restaurant and I've been there before and it was not giving, it wasn't giving Mexican. So I asked, um, the waiter and she's like, well, the head chef is Mexican and 
um so it's mexican inspired infusion she said there they also have another chef that is from bulgaria um but they use a lot of french technique in their cuisines so she's just like it's it's a fusion fusion restaurant and they do change some of the items on their menu um yeah so the bulgarian and mexican chefs you know they collab and come up with these dishes but everything i've had from them has been really good i would definitely suggest that you guys go ahead and check out petite leon and let me know what you think about it so i will see y'all in another food video peace Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So I'm picking my niece up. We're taking, I'm taking her to get her nails done. Here come her daddy. He's such a big aunt. Oh, now she need a booster seat. Is she that still that little? Not shorty need a... She's still that little to where she need a, a booster seat? No, that's good. I didn't know she needed one, though. I thought... Oh, that's it right there. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Uh. Show do. Let's go. Go get our nails done before she goes back to school. Her hat. All right. Hey, girl. You ready to get your nails done? Yeah. Let's go. And yeah, we'll see y'all at the nail shop. Honey, we just got done at the nail shop and then we stopped to get us some chipotle and what you how you feel about your nails yeah, yeah? you think he did a good job mm -hmm. was he giving us attitude did you feel like he was giving us a little attitude to begin with yeah. i know right they was acting like we didn't book an appointment and i made this appointment yesterday wait what's today monday sunday saturday i made this appointment on saturday and they was acting like we didn't have an appointment I had to tell them, no, I want her to have a full pedicure, like water, all of that. What are you doing? Her food, she's eat, eating her food, and I'm finna finish my little steak quesadilla. This is like plenty. I don't know if this was the kid meal or not, but this was just enough for me. What? What you was gonna say? <laughs> Anywho, <clears throat> I had to get my nephew something to eat too. I couldn't get her something not get him something. Hopefully, sometime, maybe next weekend, we can go see um, Willy Wonka. Anyhow, I'll see y'all later. We about to get on this road. Like, uh, it's, a, it's a ways away. Oh, you know, oh Nelly. I've been listening to Nelly since I was young. Two. Right. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to play that all the time in the car. When you had to clean up the house, huh? Hell yeah. All right, gang. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Find your old bitch. Settle down. Yeah, Don't have no kids tonight now. Wrap it up. Yes, sir. All right, gang. It's getting hot. Look at it. My name is City. I'm Ashanti's DJ. How you doing tonight? How you doing? Appreciate the love. That handsome gentleman right there, that is DJ Don DeMarco, my brother from another. That is John ja Rules DJ. Don DeMarco. How many people came in tonight to have a good time with Ja Rule and Ashanti? Make some noise.
Am I the only one that cries when I, like, see, like, life-changing stories? So in this book, um, he just did a couple, like, examples of people who got on YouTube and just started, just starting, you know, and did what they love to do and how within a short period of time, two, two, three years, they're making million do millions of dollars, millions of dollars. They're being their own boss. They're creating things that they love. You know, like it started as a hobby. Now it's a full-time career making seven, six, seven figures. And I'm just getting like teary-eyed because I see this for myself, you know. So I've always known that I was going to be an entrepreneur from a really long, really, really young age. Um, I've told this story to people before, but I used to go to a private school in elementary school and my grandma used to um, volunteer at a food bank and during the school like when school was going on um she would get a lot of pencils paper like cute stuff back in the early late 1990s early 20s to early 2000s um that type of cute stuff that um what is that what is that Jane, what is it called? Jane something with like all the animals, but it's like polka dots and cheetah print and rainbow, but all the cute stuff. Anyways, long story short, I used to have a school store. I was the school store. I used to sell snacks, pencils, paper, anything that you need in school. I sold it. And the school got word of how much money I was making. Like they, you know, the teachers would be like, oh no, she's, she's selling like, like, she has clientele, honey. Like, she got customers. They told me I couldn't sell anymore, and they opened up a school store. So, it's always been in me. So, I'm really looking forward to diving into this book and, um, you know, seeing what secrets are in this book that I have not probably already come across and just haven't taken action. But so far, so good. I'm very motivated and, um, yeah, I am a, such a crybaby, but it's going to be one of the reasons, this is going to be one of the things that makes me wealthy. So, anywho, let me get my crusty ass off of here. I'm about to finish my 10 pages for the day and, um, get dressed and go possibly get my hair done. I don't know. Anyways. Eat all the ice cream. That's cute. <clears throat> it's cute over here. Man, eat diner. Whole oh, boys behind you, Mr. Paul. Depend on nothing or no one. So why would you show up? It's on and later. Just change my mind like that. Please don't take it. What is this? Mitsubishi Motors. About to see if this is the charger for my truck. But I need to reverse her. I need to back in real quick. But we'll see. I hope it is because I definitely need the charger. <laughs> or I can't use my auto star. Hello, touch anywhere to begin. 
Come on. Y'all, it's freezing. Um, have you ever, like, <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, I, if you guys are not familiar with, like, quantum leaping and timeline jumping, y'all should research that, but I feel like last year, I had a lot of those moments, and, um, I'm now kind of, like, seeing why. Have you ever, like, envisioned, like, truly envisioned your life? Like, you know that certain things are going to happen, you just don't know when. And you know that certain incidents in your life are going to be a part of your story. Like, the story that you tell. <laughs> uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. So, I don't know, just... We going this is gonna be a random little chit chat rant. Um sit and charge my new car with me. Smoke and read. I need to go get some tent actually. Cause the baby, it's a fishbowl up here. Yeah, have y'all ever? I've had a couple timeline jumps, and it's just like, the feeling is so crazy. Like, damn, I'm on my way to being my future self. Like, I'm on my way. Like, I'm jumping through timelines to get there quicker. <laughs> like, what? It's a weird feeling. I really don't even know how to explain it. You just kind of feel like you're on a different path. Like you literally jump from, I guess you could say like one chapter to another one. Like, okay, that one, okay, that's a wrap. I need to move to the next. I need to get, get to where I'm going. Not, not necessarily quicker. Um, because I feel like when I've had those time limit jumps, I was doing something like reading. I was, you know, feeding my mental. And I'm just like... I probably was doing a little shrooms, smoking, you know, like, it's a wild thing. But anyhow, I'm about to get back to this. I will talk to y'all in a minute.